whatever that was. You know, we, we didn't get into that, you know, but the Protestants did all that stuff. I heard all my life, all my life, Jonah was running from God. Ladies and gentlemen, Jonah was not running from God. I've heard that all my life. Man, Jonah wasn't running from God. Jonah wasn't running from God. Jonah was running from what God told him to do. Write that down. Jonah wasn't trying to get away from God. He's trying to get away from what God said. See, God told him to go to Nineveh. He didn't want to do that. See, God tells you to do some things you don't want to do. It's not that you're running from him. You're, just, you're running from the mission that he's called you to do or, or the obedience that he wants you to do. So Jonah wasn't trying to get away from God. He was trying to get away from his duty. Some of you have prayed that prayer about your own children. You know, your children are backslid. They're running around doing all kinds of stuff. And you think you get up in church, say, my boy running from God. My daughter running from God. Lord, we need to pray for him. No, they're not running from God. They're running from what God told them to do. How do you know that? How many times when they come over and visit, you start jumping on them, especially if you're a good mama and a good dad, especially a good mama. Boy, I raised you right. I raised you to know the word of the living God. You out there chasing women, drinking booze, smoking dope. You know that's wrong. And boy, all of a sudden you see him, he gets choked up. I saw it, mama. I saw it, mama. I mean, I, mean, I just can't live it, mama. I, I, I saw it, mama. Notice that the anointing of God's still there. He ain't running from God. He's just running from what God told him to do. Your child ain't running because you put that word of God in them. But you see what happened? That's why you, they get disturbed when you begin to tell them. And they go, I'm sorry, my wife, I just can't seem to do it or whatever. But why? That anointing is still present there, even though they may be in sin. They're not running from God. They're running for what God told them to do. Now, don't pray some stupid Pentecostal prayer. Here's one of them. Lord Jesus, Lord, bring my boy back. Whatever it takes, Lord, I lay him on the altar, break his legs, knock his brains out. Jesus, he just like his daddy. Do whatever you can to him, Lord, but get him to the throne. You just gave license for the devil to break his leg, blow his brains out, and God get blamed for it. You don't pray that kind of stupid prayer. You pray this kind of prayer. Jesus, that boy's a fool just like his daddy was. Lord, I ask you to bless him, help him, bring him back, give him peace so he can see the fullness of who you are. My mother never prayed that kind of bad prayer on me. Now, she did quote all the stuff I did to God. It took a while. If you don't think God showed my mama some things, it was the most amazing thing. I was a sinner. I was a very bad sinner. Man, we had to go play in a place called McAllen, Texas. You know what McAllen, Texas is? Went down to the Sheridan Hotel. We're going to do five weeks in McAllen, Texas. Kathy wasn't with me. I said, and, and, they, and across town is called Border Town, called Reynosa, Mexico. And that's where the border guy, where all, uh, you know, all uh, uh, the ladies of the evening are. And me and my, my friend Jimmy, oh, Lord, we just, we just go down there chasing the Mexican. Lord, oh, oh, Lord, I mean, just go nuts. I mean, it was bad. I'm in this joint. I mean, I'm telling you what, there ain't much clothes on nobody in there. Everybody drinking tequila, eating worms, you know, you're the bottom of the bottle. Y'all you know. know what I'm talking about. Y'all from California. <laughs> Y'all know what I'm talking about. Y'all some drinking, smoking dope people. Y'all know all that, man. All came, all came out of California. Well, where was Woodstock? California. Come on. Man, we just drinking. My name then was not Jesse Duplantis. Uh-uh, nobody understood that in the rock world. My name was Jerry Jackson. We changed it. J-A-X-O-N. Look good in lights. Jerry Jackson. And my Lord, a phone call came into Reynosa, Mexico, and that sleazy, no-count trashy bar with girls dancing nude on the tables. And man, me and Jimmy, woo! Just drinking tequila. And some guy said, hey, just a duplantis here. And Jimmy said, ain't your, ain't your name Jesse? I said, yeah. It, uh, Jesse Duplantis here. Jesse Duplantis. I said, yeah, I, I, I am. Phone call. I, God is my witness. I stand on 47 stacks of Bible. I go, hello. And my mama said, you little heathen from hell. I see you in there. The Lord showed me where you was. The Lord showed me. And I tell you, I'm going to call fire out from here. You and that, that cross-eyed crazy drummer, you get out of there. I got, God going to kill both of you. I said, okay, mama. Hung the phone up. Uh, God is, I am not exaggerating. I went up to Jimmy. We got to get out of here. God's going to kill us. He went, whoa. I said, Mom, how did my mother know I was in Reynosa, Mexico, in Boys Town? She didn't know. But Mama was a praying woman. Boy, you should have seen us run out of that place. I told everybody, y'all better get out of here. God going to kill us all. God, I would jump into a taxi cab and say, drive as fast as you can. 
I didn't want to spend no gas, got the 50 cents, 50 cents. I said, I'll give you five dollars, get out of here. I said, God's gonna kill the place. Ah! I'll never forget that taxi cab guy. Got to the border, man, we went right through the store without stopping. Boy, here they come with the guns. Stop! I got out, I said, listen, my mama called and said, God gonna kill us in Boys Town. Man just looked at me. I said, I'm lost as a goose to the farm. My mama said, I'm going to hell. Well, you're gonna go to hell a lot quicker if you don't learn to stop when you come to this border. Now get out of here. I called my mother when I got back to McAllen. Didn't take long trying to cross the border. How'd you know? I was praying. And I saw you, you little heathen from hell. I was praying, Lord, where is he? And I saw you there. You and that little cross-eyed boy. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm telling you the truth, man. How could mama do that? Because her boat was clean. Mama didn't have nobody in her ship. Mama lived right. She lived right. She lived clean. 